This is Riley from Northwest Entertainment. I, I mean a friend of mine, was walking down the street listening to Ma, his brand new Taylor Swift's Greatest Hits CD on his brand new iPod Nano. I can just feel the jealousy. Watching the note, uh, the Avengers on his iPad when BAM! He was tackled by an entire SWAT team. Everything he had on him was confiscated, and he was tased three times for resisting arrest. When he woke up from his electricity-induced coma, he realized that he had been caught pirating all 1,471 Taylor Swift songs and cover songs, mm -hmm. all eight seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and that one Lionel Richie song that he doesn't quite remember downloading. Little did his now-terrified neighbors realize that he is a modern-day pirate. Arr! First, we'll set sail through the history of piracy. Then, we'll raise the Jolly Roger with piracy in today's world. And finally, we'll shiver our timbers with how to avoid piracy altogether. I also guarantee that all the pirate puns will make you want to walk the plank. <laughs> all men and women, on deck, and let's set sail through the history of piracy. Piracy was invented in 1963, when Johnny Depp was born. In the early days, pirates were swashbuckling brigands of the sea who plundered enemy ships and sank them faster than Rihanna was able to sink the movie Battleship. <laughs> they also did some other stuff, too, but my mommy says I'm not old enough to talk about that yet. <laughs> pirates are known for their overly barbaric ways, such as codes of conduct, high standards of loyalty, and, much to Paula Deen's dismay, desegregation. Pirates usually reigned from countries such as England, Spain, or France, but they soon revolted against their mother countries and started colonies, such as Hispaniola or Tortuga, because their original name of Bootyland was taken well out of context. They would also spend time in ports such as Trinidad or Havana, because these ports had such laughably small standing armies that they were forced to let the pirates stink up their cities, which led to the wonderful invention of scented candles. <laughs> The bright rum-fueled flame of piracy burnt out in the late 1700s, about the same time Joan Rivers was born. So let's raise the Jolly Roger with piracy in today's world. The definition of a pirate has changed a lot in recent years. A pirate was once a scurvy-ridden scallywag with a beard who plundered enemy ships. But today's pirates are scurvy-ridden 32-year-olds who live in their mother's basements. Bath time is the closest time this modern-day pirate gets towards sailing the seven seas. <laughs> Lost my spot. Okay. Sorry. It's okay.